you know, I've given a lot of thought to the years about the values of the rational mind versus the intuitive mind. And really, there is no versus. That's the thing is the rational mind can't comprehend anything beyond the rational. The intuitive mind can encompass the rational through feelings. We can intuitively know things that used to baffle us, for example. And, um, you know, the word knowledge, the rational mind wants to pick apart. But knowledge can be intuitive, which doesn't have a rational basis. And in fact, if feelings are rational, then they're not feelings at all. It's like E.E. E. Cummings said, who pays any attention to the syntax of things will never wholly kiss you or love you, however you want to put it. And when I read that we eventually intuitively know things that used to baffle us through the elimination of the rational obstacles, that prevent us from becoming whole human beings integrating with our original selves. Once we get the obstacles out of, way, out of the way and we stop self-sabotaging and we align with our original spirit, which is aligned with the spirit of, of God as we understand God, you know, um, and then we drop the judgment and we drop the attention to, to details and we can see every piece of the puzzle as a unified whole based in trust rather than all the pieces of the puzzle fitting together you know and uh pedantically or rationally they do all fit together if you will but they happen spontaneously. It's like a natural convergence where time and space and everything fold in together and, and, um, and the synchronization of our deeper truths all align and resonate with us. So, you know, Man's Search for Meaning, that book, that was written by somebody that was in a concentration camp during World War II was not written by the rational mind because there's no rationality that would justify either freeing him or locking him up. So I, I can't quite grasp The, the need or the needs that we think exist in life when in reality there's probably only wants. It's like the Rolling Stones saying, you can't always get what you want, but you always get what you need. Well, what if our, our wants align with our needs and maybe our needs are created by our wants and all the stuff that dribbles down from the rational mind you know so I guess I'm comfortable with not knowing anything I guess that's really partly where I need to go with this because I can get caught up in the traps of self-judgment, self-sabotage. I can be uncomfortable with what I think or what other people think. And that self-imposed, uh, what do you call it? Addiction, I guess, is what I just, it is a cause of such unhappiness in so many lives. You know, people jump off of bridges because they 
can't align with their original selves. And on the way down, they understand what the original self really is, but then it's too late to go back in time, I suppose. Whatever, I'm not making any sense like most of my videos, but take what you like and leave the rest. But for sure, just remember to love one another. Tell three people a day that you love them. Quit wasting your life. Peace out.